With boxes of clothing he was ready to unload, instead, Juan Colon was turned away. I got other side projects that I want to do at home while I'm at home, and, and uh, I don't have the space pretty much to do it. The scene is repeated over and over behind Stockton's March Lane Goodwill store. But since the shutdown of stores went into effect, people have still kept coming and left whatever they have piled up behind. And people are also using Goodwill as a dumping ground, dumping couches or appliances that they don't even take. For example, this Goodwill in Tracy was vandalized along with a stove dumped and clothing scattered. A lot of individuals started leaving merchandise at our back doors. Denise Ost is CEO of all 15 stores and two distribution centers in the San Joaquin Valley from Lodi to Visalia. She says the stay-at-home shutdown has meant $3 million in lost revenue and other expenses, including paying to have donations that are left and picked through treated as contaminated trash. We had to call back our truck drivers and truck helpers to service our locations with a snow shovel basically and big bins and pay to haul it off to the landfills. 350 Goodwill workers have been furloughed. However, some like these workers are still employed to tell those who want to donate not to. The hope is to reopen curbside donation service by the start of June or earlier. And that's all we can do is making plans and waiting Bottom line, San Joaquin Valley Goodwills want your donations, but hold on to them for now. For other thrift stores, call and see if they're taking donations before bringing yours.